let's actually skip that, okay? Let's well, this actually becomes let's actually write down this becomes a zero x to zero plus a one x to the one plus a two x to the two plus a three x to the three plus dot dot dot, which needs to be multiplied by the generating power series for this particular sequence, which is b zero x to the zero plus b one x to the one plus b two x to the two plus b three x to the three plus dot dot dot. Okay, and if we want to multiply this out, it's actually straightforward to do. What we actually do is, okay, we have we have our a's, we have our a's and our b's. Okay, so for the zeroth term, the x zero. Okay, the two indices must add to give us zero. So the only two possibilities is a zero times b zero. In relation to in relation to the x to the one term, the two indices must add to give us one. So the only possibilities that we could have are, are let's say, are a0 times b1. They add to give 1. And a1 times b0. So we end up with a0 times b1 plus a1 times b0. In relation to the x squared term, we're going to have three terms. Okay, So in relation to the x squared term, uh, well, we could have a0 b, b, b2 okay, plus a1 b1 they have to add to give us 2 plus a2 b0 in relation to let's say the cube term okay it's going to be a0 times b3 plus a1 times b2 plus a2 times b1 plus a3 times b0 okay that'd be our x cubed term plus and so on and so forth okay so we can actually see how to multiply infinite sequences, albeit we won't be able to expand them out fully. Okay, we can definitely multiply them out okay, by observing this particular fact that when we multiply the power series, that the coefficient of the x zero term in the power series, uh, that it's simply the sum of the first two the first two terms in the sequences, the coefficient of the x one term. Okay is you can see that's the product of two two terms yeah okay so it's the sum of two products okay with each product having a term out of the first and second sequence but the important thing is that the indices must add to give us one you can see that the third that the the the, the coefficient of the x squared term in the in the power series has three terms okay and once again, you can see that each product okay, is a product of a term from the first sequence and the second sequence, first sequence, second sequence, first sequence, second sequence. But the indices must add to give two. And finally, you can see that in relation to x to three, that there's four possible terms. Okay? So this leads us then onto onto the situation, on on onto onto the onto the observation. Then, yeah, okay, is in multiplying, in multiplying, in multiplying infinite sequences infinite sequences okay infinite sequences let's say we have a0 a1 a2 a3 dot 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 times uh, b0 b1 b2 b3 dot 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 okay that we can figure out actually what the sequence is that's associated with this the sequence is simply it's simply the, the it's simply the coefficients of the power series after we multiply the power series out for each one of these. So what we end up with is once again a zero b zero x to the zero plus uh, a zero b one plus a one b zero x to the one plus uh, a zero b two plus a one b one plus a two b zero x to the two plus dot dot dot. Okay. But the important thing here is that each one of these has a generating function, okay? And the generating function, okay, the two sequences, yeah, the two sequences when we multiply together are giving us are giving us this particular expansion here, okay? Which effectively was the same as the generating function for this sequence here was a zero x to the zero plus a uh, a1 x to the 1 plus a2 x to the 2 plus a3 x to the 3 plus dot 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 and that that is multiplied by the power series for this which is b0 x to the 0 plus b1 x to the 1 plus b2 x to the 2 plus b3 x to the 3 plus dot 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 and each one of them has a generating function okay 
So the generating function for this, let's say in the A's, is g a of x, and the generating for function of this, let's say for the b sequence, is g b of x. So all we have to do is multiply the generating functions to find the generating function of the product of two sequences. For example, okay, let's use it, look at an example. Yeah. So for example, and it's a nice example because it's an alternative way of constructing a particular sequence. Okay. Uh, let's consider the product of the two sequences, one, 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 